Hi everyone, this is Yashpal here and today I am going to discuss part 7 under section the end of La is not to restrain or abolish but to preserve and enlarge freedom. But before I begin with let me quote Mahatma Gandhi. that freedom is not worth owing if it does not include the freedom to make mistakes. Let's begin with. Human societies have evolved from the state of nature and animal living to civilized human living. This evolution in social life of the people had not been a day's or weeks affair. It has been a long, unending process of discourse, deliberation, debate, and sometimes a revolution to reach a more organized life. Human being in the hypothetical state of nature is naturally and ex exclusively self-interested. More and more more or more more or less equal to one another with limited sources yet there is no power able to force men to cooperate human society found to compromise found a compromise in social contract where people so where people surrendered their rights to the sovereign state Primarily of this has been self-preservation. Human society from the very inception of community life followed certain practices and rules. These practices and rules came to be known as customary practices or customs. The customary practices for their origin and sustenance to a specific group or community. These rules were in form of laws, laws which were brought into existence to maintain the smooth functioning of the lives of the of individuals, families, and society. The idea is to live in society by individual human beings was to seek protection and mutual benefit. The responsibility to maintain law and order was given to the state. Laws are certain rules formulated by sovereign which are mandated to be followed by every person to whom they apply to prevent chaos and anarchy and to provide a sense of security in the minds of the people. The purpose of law is to remove any fear from the minds of the people and to enable them to express freely and to pursue their dreams with liberty. Liberty is essential for the development of society as without liberty there will be no innovation and only tyranny. Large laws required to ensure liberty as without law, law there will be violence and orderless society and there will not be any equality. Liberty means uh, to be free from restraint but this liberty cannot be extended to such an extent so as to disturb other person's liberty. Therefore, liberty is not absolute and reasonable. And reasonable restrictions can be imposed only and reasonable restrictions can be imposed on liberty by law and thus liberty has to be exercised under the ambit of law. Resonance in the 15th century in Europe brought the concept of humanism, spirit of inquiry, scientific temper, and modern ideas of liberty equal and equality and even fraternity later after French revolutionary revolution. These ideas challenge the existing status quo of authoritarian control of people by church monarchy. French Revolution propagated the ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity and listed the rights of citizens. It laid stress on fundamental rights and freedom to be provided to every person for pursuing their goals. 
The Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations also recognizes freedom as a fundamental human right and directs its member to modify its laws to preserve and enlarge freedom. During the colonial <laughs> sorry during the colonial era in India, Indian leaders realized the importance of freedom and waged struggle against colonial power for self rule and to govern themselves under laws which are fair, free from fear, free from arbitrariness and non discriminatory. The experience and ideas gained from the long struggle for independence are reflected in the constitutions of India, which recognizes liberty as an essential co component. In the preamble, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship is assured by the constitution to all the people. This is essential to achieve the ultimate objective of uh, our constitution, like to promote fraternity and to ensure dignity of the individual. The freedom of one person ends where the freedom of other, others begin. Law ensures freedom to everyone and same law ensures freedom to everyone and same is ensured and enlarged by legal implementations and judicial pronouncements. But in certain cases, law tends to restrain freedom of some to enhance the interest of few like the minority, unprivileged, backwards, etc. Absolute and unrestrained freedom in each state of chaos as people tend to satisfy their own best interests and selfish desires, ignoring the other followings. Therefore, freedom needs to be qualified, which seeks to balance between the majority and the minority. A qualification added to freedom under the law is under the law is an effective way to establish a rule of law and ensure justice to the masses. The debate on the role of law in the life of the people and in political system has been an unending process as to some as to some end of law is to create restraint restraints and set up an absolute society but to some extent but to some lies an enabler enabler ensuring the smooth and seamless flow in the daily life of people of the people Proponents supporting the absolutist nature of law are influenced by the ideas of laissez-faire. According to them, the components of institution by themselves must be free and must be have self-imposed regulations rather being an extremely forced one. To certain aspect, this idea encompasses in itself the creative and free nature of people as a restricted person might lose his creative acme and deteriorate into a lamp holder. This argument of laissez-faire might be promising idea, but the same lack in conviction to reach the masses in an equitable manner. The accusation of laissez-faire lies in, the, in its tendency of power centralization and conversion to absolutist system. Freedom as qualified by law seeks to rectify the tendency of an unjust society. Law of sedition has been one of the most contentious laws as it seeks to restrict the freedom of speech and expression of the people. Nation states by law Nation states by this law try to check the unscrupulous people who pose a threat to security and integrity. The greater responsibility shouldered by the law is to protect the people and their freedom. Any fear or rational comment against the sovereign power and the government is non seditious. Any abuse of law is not the fault of law, but it is the fault on the part of those in power and responsible for preservation of the people. Recently, Section 66 of, of Information Technology 
एक्ट हैज़ बीन स्टक डाउन बाई सुप्रीम कोर्ट एज इट वायोलेटेड द फ्रीडम ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ओपिंड ओपाइंड दैट एनी लॉ करबिंग फ्रीडम नीज टू बी टेस्टेड ऑन द टच स्टोन ऑफ रेडी रीजनेबलनेस एनी लॉ बिच इज एम्बिग्यूज इज टू प्रोन इज प्रोन टू बी मिस यूज और अब्यूज फ्रीडम कैन बी एंश्योर्ड वेन देर इज ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन द सिस्टम एंड देर इज पॉसिबली एंड दिस इज पॉसिबल बाई एक्सेस टू इन्फॉर्मेशन राइट टू इन्फॉर्मेशन इज ए वाइटल मीन्स टू एन लॉर्ज फ्रीडम फ्रीडम इज नेसेसरी फॉर अदर इक्वली इम्पॉर्टेंट फंडामेंटल राइट्स लाइक इक्वलिटी एंड जस्टिस दे आर मीनिंगलेस विदाउट लिबर्टी दस लिबर्टी इक्वलिटी एंड फ्रैटर्निटी फ्राम ए गोल्डन ट्राइंगल एंड आर फॉर्म ए गोल्डन ट्राइंगल एंड आर कम्प्लीमेंटेड टू इच अदर लॉ हैज बीन द टूल टू प्रोवाइड ग्रेटर फ्रीडम टू द पीपल इट आल्सो सिक्स टू प्रोवाइड सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिक फ्रीडम टू द पीपल द पोलिटिकल एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द ह्यूमन बींग इज एस्टेब्लिश बाई प्रोवाइडिंग फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एक्सप्रेशन एंड रिप्रजेंटेशन एंड हैविंग ए ग्रेटर वॉइस इन डिसीजन मेकिंग पोलिटिकल फ्रीडम इन एनी लीगल सिस्टम इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई फंडामेंटल लॉस विच प्रोवाइड राइट ऑफ सिटीजनशिप लाइफ लिबर्टी रिप्रजेंटेशन इक्वलिटी एसेट्रा सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिक फ्रीडम टू द पीपल सीक्स टू एंश्योर ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द पीपल दिस सस्पेक्ट ऑफ फ्रीडम इज इन एडिशन टू द पोलिटिकल फ्रीडम प्रोवाइड बाई ला रूल्स एंड लॉस डीलिंग विद इशूज ऑफ लाइवलीहुड फूड सिक्योरिटी पॉवर्टी रेडिकेशन एजुकेशन एंड मैनी अदर इशूज आर सोशल लेजिस्लेशन विच प्रिजर्वस द which preserves and enlarges freedom for instance right to education act seeks to ensure free and compulsory education to compulsory education for children up to 14 years of age this seeks to empower poor and needy people with primary education so that children can have freedom to make their decisions in future life national rural employment guarantee act with the objective to provide employment for unskilled labor in rural areas has enhanced the freedom of the people by empowering them economically the national food security act has provided freedom to the people from hunger environmental law seeks to provide people with freedom from poor quality air butter and manage and butter and environment laws relating to tax seeks seek to make the government earn from businesses and people these laws appear as economic punishment upon the people but in reality they preserve, they preserve and enlarge social freedom social freedom is ensured by the government by using the tax money for social welfare on the other hand money used for development of infrastructures like road railways and ports etc ensure economic freedom by providing smooth and free flow of the market legislation like goods and services services tax has has ensured freedom of trade and commerce laws as a stance on freedom is a narrow view the advocates of this view took the advocates of this view look at laws as a hindrance to their freedom in process of doing this they ignore the broader benefit provided by law the law has been in place to check the excesses of individuals and to ensure that human being are free from hypothetical state of nature human is the end of the law and is and not its mean by this it can be said that the law seeks to ensure equality among the people equality that favors well-being of the people respective of their standing in life freedom freedom in its broader senses encompasses within itself the overall development of individuals which in turn seeks to the seeks to development of others law in its real senses seeks to preserve and enlarge freedom with this i'm signing off
थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग हैव ए नाइस डे